Hello and welcome to the prevailing word. I am Apostle Richard Olimbo. And today, I want to be sharing with us from the book of John, chapter 8, verse 31. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now I want us to pay close attention to verse 31. Look at what Jesus said to the Jews. He says, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. I want you to pay close attention to the progression. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. So in order for us to become disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, there is a need for us to continue in the word of God. And so the prevailing word for today is, an encounter with the truth brings conviction necessary for change. The only way you can encounter truth is to continue in the word of God. The only way that truth will come into your life and change your circumstances is to continue in the word of the Lord. And so we go on to verse 32, he says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now, having an encounter with the truth doesn't just come because you read the word of God one time. So there's a need for you to continue reading and studying and hearing the word of God. And that is when you become a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as you continue in God's word, verse 32 says, you shall know the truth. In other words, you will encounter truth. And this truth that you will encounter will bring changes in your life. Now let us look at some areas of your life that you may be battling with today. Possibly the reason why there hasn't been any change or changes is because you have not encountered truth yet. In the areas of your health, you have not encountered truth yet. Maybe you have issues with your finances. Possibly you have not encountered truth yet. I want you to think for a while, I want you to think for a moment, what areas in your life are you having challenges with today? Could it possibly be that you have not encountered truth? Now pay close attention to these. The truth that you encounter brings conviction necessary for change. I discovered that a lot of people will not make progress because they have not encountered truth. Or let me put it this way. A lot of people never take action because they have not encountered truth. And the only way you can encounter truth that will set you free, that will bring changes in your life, it's when you continue in the word of God. And so our prevailing word for today, as you go through your process, as you go through life, as you deal with different kinds of challenges in life, as you're moving from one level to another level, there are certain changes that must occur. And the only way they can, it's when you encounter truth. The truth of the word of God. Now, it's a truth that by the stripes that were laid on Jesus Christ, you are healed. You are not going to be healed. You are already healed. It is a fact that you are sick right now. But when your facts are subjected to God's word, it changes. You see, truth cannot change, but facts will change when they are subjected to God's word. How you feel right now, what you're dealing with right now is a fact. I'm not asking you to deny this. But when you submit your feelings, when you submit your facts to the authority of God's word, they will change. But truth alone stands the test of time. And that is why it's important for you to glean from God's word that an encounter with truth brings conviction necessary for change. Do you want changes in your marriage? Do you want changes in your relationships? Do you want changes in your businesses? If you're in ministry, do you want changes? I can but tell you that those changes will only occur as you encounter truth. I don't know what you're dealing with at this point in time in your life. I don't know the challenges that you're going through. But there's one thing that I'm sure about. As you engage the truth of God's word, changes will occur. So on today's prevailing word, I want you to hold on to this word with your life. And any truth that you encounter from God's word will bring that conviction that will break barriers, will bring that conviction that will cause you to move from where you are now to where you ought to be. 
Do you want changes in your life? Of course, yes, you do want changes. And the only way they can occur is when you engage that truth. So do not forget an encounter with the truth of God's word will bring that conviction that is necessary for change. Jesus says it. You will know the truth and the truth that you know will set you free. Well, until our next broadcast, I want you to know that the prevailing word is strong for you today and the truth that you have encountered will bring that conviction necessary for change. Until our next episode, God bless.